we asked Maya, Brett, and Erica to share their perspective on the current state of hiring. A headline is, it is challenging because there are so many needs out there from so many companies in order to find the best talent. And there's tons of talent out there. So I would say it's challenging but I believe that we have the tools and the platform to make that a lot easier for recruiters and job seekers. But challenging would be the headline. My thesis is that we're in for incredibly tight next two years and probably longer in the talent market. And my headline is iterate or fail. So why so tight? I think venture investing dollars are up 94% year over year. We have a large number of IPOs and exits last year. We have sort of another similar level this year. Unicorn counts are up over a thousand globally and public company valuations are way up. So at one end of the market, you have people who maybe are interested in those early stage opportunities that are trapped in golden handcuffs. And on the other end, you have companies that are forming, receiving a bunch of venture dollars and hungry for talent. And the market is just super stretched. And so the simple fact is funding might be up, but the talent pool just hasn't grown by that same 94%. And so to succeed, in my opinion, leaders really need to be more aggressive and really dissect their process, think about everything from a candidate's point of view and strip out anything that isn't going to help a candidate either say yes at the end of your process or get to the end of your process. And because candidates are going to be sort of moving through this process really fast, on your side, you need to be confident and prepared that you're evaluating core components, that you're removing as much bias and nice to haves from your process as possible, and that you're just being very intentional about every step and, and really thinking closely about hurdles like coding challenges and take-home tests and how any, any hurdle you're putting into your process is either helping you or pushing people away from your company. To put it really simply, it is hard right now. And, and I'm hearing that across the board and I'm experiencing as well as a hiring manager, you know, I'm trying to hire a few product folks. Everyone I'm talking to has multiple, very competitive offers. I'm, and I'm seeing it even go down the stack, not just in hiring engineers and product folks, but even with technical recruiters, uh, I'm on a thread with a bunch of chief people officers. And one of the conversations we were having last month is it used to be that everyone was trying to hire away our engineers. Now they're also trying to hire away our technical recruiters. So it's really going full stack um, and that's how competitive it is. One thing I think about with all of this is uh, one of the folks I quote most is Oli Thompson. He was my skydiving instructor back in my college days. So for those who have worked with me, you know uh, that I, in a pre previous life, had 750 skydives, big skydiver, and Oli was one of my big inspirations, uh, just to paint the picture of him because I think it's helpful. At the time, I thought he was this wise old man, you know, Vermont hippie skydiving instructor. He was probably 40, but in your 20s, that felt very old and wise. Anyway, I would say to Oli, Oli, I'm scared. You know, not every time, but sometimes I would say, hey, Oli, I'm scared. And he would look at me and he would say, that's good. I would be concerned if you weren't. You're about to jump out of an airplane. And I say that because I think while we're all experiencing this, I'd also be concerned if we weren't because you're kind of hearing it across the board. And I say this because I would still jump out of the airplane. It would just be hard and it would be scary. And I think we're all in that same position right now, which is hiring is really challenging right now. But that doesn't mean we can't do it. We just have to figure out how we navigate this new world and come out positively through it. I equate it a lot to when the landscape is changing a lot and you're building a product. On the one hand, it does mean you might have to change your strategy. On the other hand, a very quickly changing landscape can present a lot of opportunities and can create some winners in the world. And so while on for the long term, I don't think hiring is a zero sum game. I think quite the opposite. I am really hardened to see how much um, the world has really embraced the idea of starting you know, engineering education much earlier. And, you know, I maybe not too early, though. I downloaded an app for my four-year-old to try to code and it did not work well. Um, but generally, I think over time, I can imagine it will get easier because we will have a lot more people with the skill sets we're all trying to hire. At the moment, it is a little bit zero-sum game in that some companies will be able to emerge as the people who are really, you know, building the strong hiring cultures and attracting top talent. And so what could that look like? 
it's very different for different companies, but I can give you an example of something we're trying at Stripe. Big shout out to our recruiting team who, you know, as I mentioned, hiring technical recruiters is quite challenging right now. And so one approach we took is we're building a technical recruiting training program. So if you can't just hire all the people you want, how do you help develop them internally? Uh, something creative I saw is folks might have seen this, but Robinhood recently acquired a recruiting agency um, to help beef up their hiring capacity. And so I think companies are really starting to get creative with the approaches that they take in this world.